The Lost Edge Intermountain Fly Tying and Fly Fishing Expo was yesterday. And I bought some things. If you want to see what I got, stay here. Fish Baits Fly Box. Tie, fish, share. I need to share with you that the items I'm about to share with you, I bought with my own money. They were not given to me. I am not, and I am currently not endorsed or sponsored by anybody. So I just wanted to make sure that that was out there so we can continue on. Hello, fly shop junkies. My name is Lance. I love to tie flies. I love to fish. And this is my channel. If you have these same passions, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and as my daughter says, give this video a big thumbs up so you can stay up to date with what, I'm, what I've got going on. Welcome to this fly shop haul. As I said earlier, I spent, I spent Saturday at the Wasatch Inner Mountain Fly Tying and Fly Fishing Expo and I bought a few things. I had a great time at the expo walking around with my brother and my, my son. We got to see many different vendors and many different fly, fly tying demonstrations. As we were walking around, we came across Travis Sylvester's booth, and he's an, he's an artist. He does some great art. And as I was going through the, the bins he had, of, of prints he had, and uh, I came across this, this painting, or this print, excuse me, it's a water, excuse me, it's a colored pencil print. And it's an awesome picture of a tiger muskie. I'm a big tiger muskie fan, and I've been looking around for a painting off and on for the last few years and when I seen this one it just hit me that I well I had to have it I mean it's the mouth open with the fly in it it, it just really pops and it really got to me so I uh, I bought it I bought two of them I bought one for me and one for my son my son's currently got his hung up in his room and it's just a really to me it's a really good good uh, piece of art um, it as at that booth, if we bought something, we got a free calendar with it, and this is the calendar we got. And it's there's some progression pictures on there throughout the calendar, and it's it's a good look, good looking. There's some good art in there. After we left Travis's booth, we came we started walking through some of the looking at some of the tires, and one of the tires I came across was Tim Jacobs. He's from Colorado, and he uh, actually the author of Deer Hair Flies, and he was tying when I got there. He was tying a, a deer hair popper. And he's really good. It was very, I was very impressed. So I decided to pick up his book and take a look at it. And after looking through his book, he had me caught. I, I bought it. And uh, I looked, and as I've looked through, I've got some really good techniques, lots of pictures, lots of detailed pictures. Um, I'm gonna go into a greater detail on the greater depth of a review later. So be ready for that, because it's coming. As the day progressed, I came across Al Woods Atomic Glow again, and I had come across this a couple years ago when I was tying at the expo, and I um, used it for for some flies, and it's a really cool material, and I, in fact I used it in demonstration of the Green Lantern, which I'll post up here, and uh, but this uh, this material when it's under UV light or sunlight or even some LEDs, it it'll glow in the dark, and it keeps its glow for a while, and it's just a really cool material. I got a combo pack here that's got some green, red, and blue in it. And then I got a sheet of it, and I got some ideas that as I was looking through it and seeing um, the different pictures that they had and some of the video demonstrations that they were showing. I got some ideas and things I wanted to use this with. So stay tuned for a review on this stuff too. It, it it's it's coming. And of course, we had to stop by the tacky booth, and while there, I bought a new tying station. Their their new tying station. They got two versions of this. They got a mini one and this one, and I decided to get this one. And I'm excited to do a review on it and a little more in depth on what I think about it. Uh, it's kind of a cool little tool here, or tool caddy, however you want to look at it. It's a little station. But uh, be ready for the review on that. While at the expo, we always get to see tires, as I mentioned before. And you always get to see some cool flies and some get some new ideas. And, you know, I've never been a fan of, of glass beads. But I seen a few flies with them on Saturday, and I decided I was going to give them a whirl. So I went to Michael's later that day and I bought some ADOT glass beads and this was a good deal. I didn't realize that they were as cheap as they were because they seem to be more than that at, at normal fly shops but I went to Michael's and got these and so I'm excited to share those with you and, sh and share some of the flies I have in mind for those. Expos are a great place to find new vendors, new materials and fresh ideas for your fly tying and fly fishing. My experience at Expos has always been a great one. Vendors generally offer show prices and they're always willing to share along with the tires, always willing to share their, their info and their insight on different aspects of fly fishing and fly tying. I want to hear about your expo experiences. Please share them in the comments below. 
mirror, fly boxes always be full and your lines tight.